Today we will be looking at ProQuest as an example of one of our article databases. ProQuest houses thousands of full text articles and can be searched in various ways. At the top of the search screen you will find three search boxes into which you can type your terms. Under the search boxes you will find ways to limit your search by specific database, by date, full text, and by scholarly journals. Going back to the top of the screen, click on the pull down box which will show you the different types of searches you can run. Most researchers search by author or title as well as keyword. Most students search by keyword for articles on their topics. Therefore, we will go through a short example of a keyword search. To run a keyword search, leave the search option at the default citation and abstract. The other pull-down box contains your Boolean operators, otherwise known as combining terms, and will narrow your search, or will broaden your search, and, and not, will exclude whatever term you type into the next box. Since we want to combine our terms, we will use AND. This tells the database we want both terms to show up in the citation and or abstract of the articles we retrieve. I am researching the topic of medicinal marijuana, so in the first box, I'm going to type marijuana. In the second box, I'm typing medicine. I want to limit my results to the most recent articles. So in the pull-down box, I am choosing to only retrieve articles that have been published in the last year. I also want to be able to read the article I find, so I am going to check the full text documents only option. Once I have entered my search terms and set my limiters, I can now click on the search button. After searching for a few seconds, ProQuest has returned its results. At the top of the results screen, ProQuest always tries to suggest topics. Here we see that ProQuest retrieved 32 articles that fit our requirements. ProQuest will automatically divide the articles into the types of periodicals they come from. For example, scholarly journals, magazines, trade publications, and newspapers. I just want to look at the articles from scholarly journals. Now we have four articles to look at. The second article looks interesting, so I'm going to click on its title. I can read the abstract to see if the article truly interests me. Then I can scroll down to read the full text, or for longer articles, I can click on a link to an HTML or PDF version of the article. If you don't want to read the article online, you have several options. You can print or email the article, as well as copy a direct link to the article. Clicking on the site this link will open up another window giving you this option to have the database format your citation for you in some standardized preset citation styles like MLA and APA. But watch out, sometimes the databases do not always get the citations correct. It pays to check over citations with an official style handbook. I want to look at some of the other articles, so I will click on the Back to Results link. Let's say I've looked at the first three articles and they all look worth investigating further. I can click in the boxes next to the article titles to mark them. 
Notice how the background turns yellow. After searching for a while and marking articles, I can view just those articles I've marked by going back to the top of the screen and clicking, clicking on the My Research tab. Here I have several choices of what I can do with my articles. I can have the computer create a bibliography, email all the articles, or create a web page with links to my articles. The export citation is not an option at the Hack Libraries. 